irises, okay? I had my doubts about these, but they turned out really great. Unfortunately, the color has not really lasted very long, okay? So I, one, I, I figured out how to freeze dry these uh, with, without them looking flattened out and uh, like the gladiolas, okay? Because there's a hollow part and you know, it, it looks like um, almost like orchids because there's a lot of space around their middle. Um, so yes, so I figured that much out. They looked really, the white parts here, unfortunately, it's, the color is stripping away already, which is super disappointing. Um, so these used to be really deep and rich um, blues and purples, okay? So I figured out how to maintain the look, or you can say structure, okay? However, the color is really fading fast. Um, I haven't had time to get them, you know, stuck in resin. Again, you can tell just from the shape, I figured out how to do it. Okay, I figured out what works best and how to maintain a shape without the petals collapsing in the freeze dryer. Okay, that much, yes, good. However, I'm really disappointed that the color is starting to strip out. Um, there is a chance that I can put it back in with some interesting effects using um, watercolor paint. So I'm gonna be painting stuff um, if I had time. That's been a real problem, is figuring all this out and not having the time to really properly preserve them into resin. Um, irises do not last long. Okay, once they bloom and once once they're opened up, they will not last long at all. So, so you have to be ready for them. Um, you have to dedicate your time into watching when you can stick them into the freeze dryer and... Um, and having that available, okay? All the freeze drying process takes about, for all the flowers, they're, they're about 24 hours, uh, probably 24 to 28 hours process, okay? So if you're doing back-to-back -back batches, that's really bad because you can't really tell when the batch will end, the cycle will end in the freeze dryer. Um, so irises, you, you have to, be really dedicated to just doing this. You don't want to try to stick, you know, a batch of roses in and hope that it'll come out in time. Okay. So timing is a big thing for Iris. Now this batch, you can tell, has really lasted a lot longer. It So, so this is a lot better. Okay, I'm going to try to experiment with resin and get them in there as soon as I can. Again, some of the blotchiness is the color stripping away, but when they came out of the freeze dryer, um, they looked really great. The colors were super vibrant, okay? I can also use a matte spray or glossy spray, um, the kind of spray you use for art, okay? I'm not talking about regular printing. I'm talking about the kind of fixative and spray you would use for like um, pastel paintings. Okay, you see the, the kind of blotchy color right there? That used to be all deep purple, okay? So yes, these are worth it, but you got to get them uh, into a mold and, you know, put, get them invested as soon as possible and do not wait for three months on up. I don't have time because of work, but yeah. And there's a really, um, these these you really have to spend a lot of time preparing them before sticking them in the freeze dryer. Okay, here's another one. So the shapes of them, I, I like the shape. The color is disappointing, but we can still probably salvage a few of these, okay? And these are, these are tough to get in there and um, get prepared. It takes a very long time. And I'll write all of that up in the lab. 